it's Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I'm doing a makeup tutorial featuring the brand new Lorac Pro 2 palette. Now I literally freaked out when I heard that Lorac was coming out with a second Pro palette because I don't know if you guys know but I'm literally obsessed with the original Pro palette. This thing is just my absolute all-time favorite makeup palette. I have used this thing to death. I am absolutely in love with it. The colors are creamy and pigmented. They are just the best. So I was just so excited to hear that they were coming out with another palette. As soon as I picked up this palette, this jade color over here was literally screaming my name and I knew I would have to do a tutorial on it. This look is perfect for when you want to app up the drama a little bit, but you don't want to go for the typical brown or black smoky eye. You want to do something a little bit different. The green is different, but it's still very wearable, which is what I love about this look. So if you'd like to see how I got it, then of course, keep on watching. So first things first, we need to prime our eyes in order to prep our eyelids for the eyeshadows that we're going to be putting on them. So today I'm actually going to be using Painterly, which is definitely not what I usually use. I usually like to use soft ochre, but couldn't find it. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lid and all the way up to my brow bone. Now in order to get a really nice sharp line right on the outer corner of our eyes, I'm actually going to be taking tape and I'm going to place that right on the outer corner. That way once I remove the tape, it's going to reveal a really nice sharp and crisp line. So I'm just going to apply it on the back of my hand like this and then I'm going to rip it off so it takes off most of the stickiness. And I'm just going to place this right on the outer corner of my eye, pointing it towards the tail end of my brow. And I'm going to grab this color right over here called light brown and this is going to act as our transition shade. So on a fluffy blending brush, this is a Sigma E25, so I'm just going to slowly build it up and apply this right above my crease. And like I said, this is going to act as our transition color and the transition color will just help all the other colors blend a lot easier. I'm now actually going to be diving into the Lorac Pro 1 palette. I needed a very, very dark matte brown color, and the Lorac Pro 2 does not have it, but the Lorac Pro 1 does. So this is the only color I'll be using that is not from this palette. So I'm just going to be taking Sable, which is just a very dark, warm, matte brown color, and on the same brush, I'm going to apply that right in my crease. You want to build this color up very slowly. You don't want it to be too intense too quickly. You just want to lightly put it into the crease and then build it up from there. So we'll come back to that color a little bit later on, but now it's time for the star of the show, which is this absolutely stunning jade color right over here. So I'm just going to be taking a flat shader brush. This is the MAC 239, and I'm just going to pat this all over my lid. Make sure to get it up all the way until the crease, and then right in the inner corner. You want to leave a little bit of space in the inner corner because we will be applying more of a brightening shade there, but you definitely still want to bring the color all the way inside. So just keep on packing on that color until you have your desired intensity. I want this to be pretty intense, so I'm just going to keep on packing it on until I'm happy with it. I'm now going to take the same brush that I had the sable on, and I'm just going to run it across my crease just to blend the color a little bit more and so there are no harsh lines. I'm now going to take Cocoa, which is another one of my favorite colors in this palette, and then I'm going to take my MAC 217 brush, and I'm just going to take a little bit of this and apply it right on the outer corner of my eye. I'm now gonna go back into the original Lorac Pro palette and I'm gonna take a little bit of sable again and just touch up the crease color because the intensity was just a little bit lost when putting on the jade. I'm like barely touching my skin right now. The brush is just skimming across it just to really just apply the tiniest amount of color. I'm now going to take a super fluffy brush, this is the Sigma E40 blending brush, and I'm going to go back into that light brown color and just really tap the brush onto the color and tap off any excess, and I'm just going to run it across um, the eyeshadow right on top where everything starts, and this is just going to blend everything just a little bit more. So I sort of want the lid to be a little bit more metallic, so I'm, I'm taking some of the jade on my brush and I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus, and by wetting the brush it's really going to make the eyeshadow look a little bit more metallic and a little bit more intense. And then I'm just going to pat that right towards the center of my lid. And yeah, that gives just a little bit more of a metallic sheen, which I really like. I'm now going to take Rosé, which is just gorgeous rose gold color, and I'm going to take that on a pencil brush and apply that right on the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to wipe that off, and I'm going to take some of the beige color, and I'm going to apply that right underneath my brow bone. Now it's time for the moment of truth. I'm going to take off the tape and you're going to see it's going to reveal a super crisp line. Oh yeah. Ah, that's much better. Oh my god, it feels like my face can breathe again. Whew. 
So that's it for like the upper lid area. I'm now gonna move on to my foundation and concealer and then I'm gonna come back to the eyeshadow a little bit later on. Don't mind my hair if it looks a little bit crazy, but I need to pin it away because it was way too much on my face and it's really as for my foundation, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever HD foundation. These are the colors 120 and 125. I'm going to be mixing them together to get my perfect shade. And then I'm pretty much just going to dot this all over my face, and then I'm going to blend it out with a foundation brush. I'm taking my Sephora 45 brush. I love this brush for foundation. It's one of my favorites. And I'm just going to buff this out. For my concealer, I'm going to be taking my Marc Jacobs Remarkable concealer, and I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes and all of the highlighting zones on my face. And now I'm taking my hourglass powder in dim light. It's just a really nice setting powder. Take any setting powder of your choice, and I'm going to use this to set my under eye area as well as the center of my face. Okay, so before moving on to the rest of the face, let's finish off the eyes. So now I'm going to take a pencil brush as well as cocoa, and I'm going to apply this right underneath my lower lash line. Make sure when you're applying this that you connect it up onto your um, the eyeshadow that we already applied. You definitely do not want to skip this step. This is really going to bring balance to the look and it's just going to sort of bring everything together. Now to blend out that lower lash line color, I'm going to grab light brown and just apply that right underneath and that's just going to blend it out. And then I'm going to take rosé, which is the color we put on our inner corner, and I'm just going to bring that a little bit right into like the first half of the um, lower lash line. Now I'm going to go back into the original Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to take Sable and apply that right on the outer corner of the lower lash line and this is going to add a little bit more dimension. Now because this eyeshadow look is super smoky, I'm going to use an eyeshadow as my eyeliner and I'm not going to use a liquid or gel or anything harsh like that. So I'm going to grab black from the palette. So I'm just going to apply this right on the outer corner of my lash line using an angled brush. So I'm sort of just pressing the eyeshadow into my um, upper lash line. I'm now going to take a black eyeliner. This is just my Urban Decay black liner and I'm going to line my lower waterline with this as well as my upper waterline. So I would 100% apply false lashes with this, but false lashes have been just irritating my eyes like crazy lately. So I'm just going to use the next best thing, which is my Charged Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This makes my lashes look huge and pretty fake. Okay, so I just applied my brows and mascara off camera. I do have a tutorial all about my brows, so I will link that down below if you're interested. But now let's move on to the rest of the face. So today I'm going to contour with my Hoola Bronzer, and I'm just going to apply this right in the hollows of my cheeks, on my temples, on my jawline, and down my neck. For blush, I'm opting for more of like a bronzy neutral blush because I don't want it to compete with the eyes. So I'm going to be using Dallas from Benefit and I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of this to the apples of my cheeks. Now for highlighter, I'm going to be taking my Stila All Over Shimmer thingy. This is a really gorgeous bronzy highlighter and I thought it would go nice with the look. So I'm just going to apply that right to the tops of my cheekbones and then blend it out with my finger. Now for the lips, I'm definitely going to be going for something that's a little bit more nude. So I'm going to be taking my MAC Lip Liner in Subculture and I'm just going to line my lips with this. And then I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Lipstick in Blushing Beige. It's just a really gorgeous nude color. And then for lip gloss, I'm going to be taking my Stila Lip Glaze in Kaleidoscope. It's just a peachy color with some shimmer in it. It's very pretty. And I'm just going to apply that in the center of my lips. So that's it for my finished makeup tutorial featuring the brand new Lorac Pro 2 palette. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Also let me know if you guys would like to see more tutorials featuring the Lorac Pro 2 palette. Seriously guys, I'm absolutely in love with this thing and I would be more than happy to do more tutorials featuring this thing because it is just amazeballs. So that is it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!